This is Richard Fisher, KI6SN, roving radio reporter. And this is another in our series of videos uh, highlighting the capabilities of an AM uh, tunable loop antenna for the broadcast band. Uh, and we talked about how to make this in, in another video, so we'll demonstrate a little bit of it now. Um, this is a particularly interesting time of night here. Uh, it's just about sunset and all sorts of exciting stuff happens at uh, at that hour. Uh, stations are changing their transmitter patterns from day to night and in some cases changing their power level <clears throat> uh, from uh, low to high or high to low depending on who they are. So let's give a listen. Uh, we're going to start at 550 and we'll see now we've copied this before I'm not I don't remember what it is but it's way down at the bottom of the band as you can hear now we're gonna click up a little bit we're gonna go to 660 Now this is a station out of the Navajo Nation in Window Rock, Arizona. At this time, they're speaking in their language. They alternate between Navajo, the Navajo language, and uh, English. And all of their commercials are in English. Uh, they do their station IDs in English. And I, I suppose they're doing them, them in Navajo as well. Uh, uh, this is a regular uh, reception on just about any, any night no matter what the conditions are. Okay, now we're going to we're going to slide up to 720. Now, remember that remembering that Arizona is over that way. We're going to go to North Las Vegas, Nevada. which is roughly behind me. This is KDWN out of North Las Vegas. Now, we'll slide over to Albuquerque. As you can see, nothing coming through. So this is KKOB 770 Albuquerque. Now let's see uh, if San Francisco is coming through. Uh, keep in mind we're in we're in very Southern California. San Francisco is uh, man hundreds of miles north of us. So. And, uh, outside of the box we don't get much of anything so we put it in here So there we have San Francisco. Now let's slide up to slide. 
I'm going to slide up to Salt Lake to KSL, which is on 1160, I believe. You can just barely hear it in there, but uh, it's, it's trying to make up its mind if it wants to be a ground wave or a sky wave. Uh, and when it, when it leans towards sky wave, it really booms in down here. Later on this evening, it'll probably be loud and clear. Yeah, that's a little better right there. So as you can see, uh, as propagation changes, so do the opportunities in playing with this thing. Apply now for winter semester. There's still time for you to call the people at Zero Res at 288-CERO and have them come to your home and just help spread Again, KSL 1160, Salt Lake City. Holiday gathering you have in store. Maybe you just want the carpets cleaned before you put up the Christmas. You tune out of it. Take the take the loop out of resonance and this and the signal really deteriorates technicians in the world will come to your home to clean your carpet but this month along with the terrific price of three rooms you find the sweet spot and it really comes in nice they want to give back to the community by helping the food bank the utah food bank they want to collect a ton literally tons of food when your carpets are being cleaned Again, you can't hear anything outside of the box. Do you know how much of your mortgage payment goes into your loan officer's pocket? I mortgage my owner of City Creek Mortgage. And, and there you go, inside the box. So, so, so the tuned AM loop antenna is really a very cool thing to do, uh, especially if you're, if you're AM band. DXing and, and if you have a crummy little radio uh, that has a ferrite rod in it, like a lot of transistors, like this one, this one is a digital, which makes it a lot, a lot better than analog because you can see exactly what frequency you're on. So there you have it. I expect to be hearing a lot other DX tonight after sundown. Until then, this is Richard Fisher, KI6SN, roving radio reporter.